All right, welcome to another version of Art Attack with Monty Moore. That would be me. Tonight we're working on uh, Lady Death cover art. This is the very first uh, cover art piece uh, that I am showing all the live processes for. It was on Facebook. And this first progress uh, piece tonight is a one hour video that is condensed down into about two and a half, three minutes. And it's just gonna be with the Copic marker stage, Copic, Copic doesn't really matter how you pronounce it. Uh, primarily using a bunch of different grays from values, kind of one through five, uh, primarily a three here to start with. And I'm actually going over my colored pencil stage that probably had a good five, six, seven hours uh, in the drawing, which was already an approved drawing from writer creator, Brian Polito. And uh, he said that I was able to uh, show these stages on Facebook. So people were able to follow me live and uh, check this out, answer questions, uh, things like that. So here again, what I'm doing is before I get to the airbrush stage, which is going to be uh, in the next video or two, I'm adding more value. I'm, I'm pumping up the grays and the blacks, adding more subtlety that maybe I didn't achieve in the drawing or I, I couldn't. Uh, not that I couldn't, but uh, that I chose to show uh, and work with some markers showing how well the uh, Copic markers work over the colored pencil, really darkening the details that are already there. And see how subtly you can work with those midsection tones. It's probably a, a gray one uh, that I'm blending with at the moment. So uh, I'm just pumping up all the values here. I'm just showing a little bit of a close up. Uh, of part of the background, this cool mausoleum. Now this is a mock-up that was part of the uh, preliminary that I did and so that I could create a color mock-up. I used Photoshop to lay some colors over the background so that I could explore various color options before going to this color stage on the original illustration. Uh, obviously here I'm using some red. Uh, I'm going to pick up a darker red here in the second and go into the, the cape yet again to really add some pop and some depth. And this allows me not to have to mask off the illustration when I get to the airbrush stage to add more shadowy tones and such. So hopefully that helps to show that uh, you can use the Copic markers for some nice layering techniques. Uh, really pumping up those blacks and then I'll go to the next stage and add even more. So subscribe now and thanks for staying tuned.